Welcome back to Pitch Talk. In today's video, we'll be discussing some of the biggest football transfer stories circulating at the moment. There's been a flurry of activity in the last few days as clubs look to finalize deals before the transfer window closes. To start, let's talk about Manchester United's pursuit of a new center back. It was reported that they were close to signing French defender Jean-Claire Tadebo from Benfica after selling Harry Maguire. However, it now seems that Maguire will remain at Old Trafford, at least until January. This has thrown United's plans into question, but they still aim to bring in a quality center back before the window shuts. Tadebo is an excellent young talent, having already gained experience playing in Portugal, Spain, Germany and France at just 23 years old. United see him as someone who could come in and provide competition for a starting spot right away. While the Maguire situation has delayed things, I'd expect United to revive their interest in Tadebo or pivot to one of their other targets like Jury and Timber of Ajax. Moving on, one of the biggest stories right now involves Cristiano Ronaldo's future. The 37-year-old is eager to leave Old Trafford after just one season back, but finding a new club has proved difficult so far. Most recently, reports linked him with a shock move to his former club Sporting Lisbon in Portugal. Sporting's manager Ruben Amorim has publicly stated they can't afford Ronaldo's wages. However, club president Frederico Verandas is said to be exploring creative ways to finance the deal, such as symmetric share capital increases. This would allow outside investors to put money directly into the club. Ronaldo's first choice is still to join a Champions League club, with the likes of Atletico Madrid, Napoli, and Marseille all rumored destinations. But if those options dry up, an emotional return to sporting where he started his career could be on the cards. As a United fan, I'd hate to see him go, but it seems inevitable at this point. In other news, Chelsea has been very active as they look to revamp their squad under new owner Todd Bailey. Their main priority is signing a top striker, with Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang from Barcelona said to be close to finalizing a £15 million transfer. Aubameyang thrived under Thomas Tuchel when they were together at Borussia Dortmund, so this deal makes a lot of sense. His pace, finishing skills and ability to play across the front line will give Chelsea a huge boost. They've also been linked to Anthony Gordon from Everton and Rafael Leo from AC Milan, among others, as they aim to overhaul their misfiring attack. Another player Chelsea is targeting from a direct rival is Arsenal striker Falaren Balogun. The 21-year-old is highly rated but has found minutes hard to come by behind Gabriel Jesus and Eddie Nketia. Reports suggest Chelsea had an initial £50 million bid rejected, but they are likely to return with an improved offer before the deadline. As an Arsenal fan myself, I'd be gutted to see Balogun go. He's a fantastic young talent who just needs more game time to realize his potential but you can understand why he'd be tempted by the chance to move to a club like Chelsea, where he'd likely start more regularly. I think Arsenal should reject any bid and keep hold of him, but money talks ultimately. This will be an interesting transfer battle to keep an eye on. Looking at Manchester City, they have been linked with a couple midfield targets as they aim to replace the injured Kevin De Bruyne. The Belgian is facing potentially six weeks out with a hamstring problem, leaving a gaping hole in City's engine room. One player City are eyeing as a short-term fix is Eberechi Ease from Crystal Palace. The dynamic 24-year-old would bring creativity and goal threat from midfield, but Palace has thus far refused to sanction his sale. Reports suggest they want at least £70 million for Ease, a price City is hesitant to meet right now. Instead, City could turn their attention back to Matthias Nunes, the sporting Lisbon and Portugal midfielder also linked with Wolves earlier this summer. City reportedly had a £47 million bid rejected last week, but expect them to return with an improved offer if Palace won't budge on A's. Nunes would be a stellar long-term addition, even if he doesn't join in time to replace De Bruyne right away. Let's also talk about the movement happening at two of Germany's biggest clubs, Bayern Munich and Borussia Dortmund. Both teams are said to be pursuing Southampton defender Armel Bella Kotschap, who could be available for around £20 million following the Saints' relegation. At just 21, Bela Kotschap is already an imposing centre-back who has earned comparisons to Antonio Rudiger. He's strong, aggressive and comfortable on the ball. Attributes both Bayern and Dortmund value highly in defenders. While Southampton will likely fight to keep him, the chance to join an elite Bundesliga club could prove too tempting for the German international. This battle for his signature will be fascinating to watch unfold. Bayern has arguably the greater need for reinforcements at the back, 
but Dortmund's track record of developing young players like Mats Hummels is also very enticing. Bella Kachap is certainly destined for big things in the future. Moving away from transfers for a moment, one of the most shocking stories right now involves Mason Greenwood, who has become a free agent after having his contract mutually terminated by Manchester United. This comes following his arrest for assault, sexual assault, and making threats to kill earlier this year. While the criminal investigation is still ongoing, United have clearly decided to cut ties entirely. Greenwood is now free to join a new club, with sides in Italy and the Middle East said to be interested. As a United fan, this is a deeply sad situation. Greenwood is unquestionably a huge talent, but his behavior off the field has thrown everything into question. It will be interesting to see if any club takes a chance on him. Switching focus to La Liga, Barcelona made waves this week by signing defender Joao Cancelo on loan from Manchester City, beating arch-rivals Real Madrid to his signature. This comes just days after also recruiting Pablo Torre from Racing Santander, further bolstering Xavi Hernandez's squad. While Cancelo was expected to join Barca, the deal has been held up by financial fair play concerns, meaning he likely won't be registered in time for this weekend's match against Sevilla. But it's anticipated those financial issues will be resolved soon, paving the way for the Portuguese fullback to make his debut. At 28, and given his previous success under Pep Guardiola, Cancelo has all the attributes to thrive at the Camp Nou. He'll provide a massive upgrade at both right and left back, while his technical quality is perfectly suited to Xavi's possession-heavy tactics, beating Real to such a top-class player only makes the signing sweeter for Barcelona. Meanwhile, Real Madrid themselves are reportedly eyeing an audacious move for Liverpool star Mohamed Salah, with Arabian club Al Ittihad said to be willing to finance a deal. While it seems unlikely Salah would leave Liverpool anytime soon, the Egyptian has just one year left on his contract meaning Los Blancos could sign him pre-contractually as early as January for a reduced fee. With Kylian Mbappe having snubbed them this summer, signing someone like Salah would be the ultimate statement of intent from Real Madrid. Salah is still in his prime at 30 and would form a mesmerizing attack alongside Karim Benzema and Vinicius Jr. This is definitely a story to keep tabs on in the coming months. Well, those are just some of the biggest transfer stories making headlines right now. Make sure to subscribe to Pitch Talk so you don't miss any updates leading up to deadline day. Let me know which transfer saga you're following most closely in the comments below. Is there a rumored deal out there I didn't mention that you want my thoughts on?